Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's October the 8th. This will be our chart lesson for today. I'm getting this done a little bit late today. As I said, I had some personal things I had to take care of, so um, I left early today. I missed some of these better moves later in the day. But, uh, but let's talk about what I saw. We started off in this trading range. And then we started this downtrend, and I used this trend channel right here, and you see that kept you in, you know, pretty much on the right side of the market all the way through about lunchtime. And then um, I found this swing here. Actually, I, I had it a little steeper to begin with. I had it like so, like this, um, is the way I originally had it. And... But what I did, the way I really got it flatter like this was when we came, when we made these two swings here, um, I drew it through there and then drug it up, and it fit right across there, and then it bounced right in there too. But we all, you could have found this either way. There's multiple different ways to get to these couple of trades here because you got this kind of double top, triple top coming across here. This is like a little failed break liar, and you, and you could have just lowered this uh, line but you can see it fit down through there all afternoon right there so uh, it looks more like a spike in channel right here we spiked down and we went into this channel and you can see that channel holds prices real nicely until we got a break right here and then moved to a new low and then we've been rallying out of there so it, it fits pretty well um, but you didn't really need this line um, until right in here and by that time you could have just drawn it you know even if you came up here and draw it, drew it off of those couple of swings right there you still kind of get those same lines so you know it could actually be like that as well so but you didn't really need those lines until this was already in place because you got all these highs across here and you could have treated this like a you know uh, strong resistance area um, all the same just like the same thing right here even if you didn't find this line. So there's different ways to usually get there, but that's what I saw. You can see this uh, channel working down here. It's kind of like a short-term trend channel, but it's more like a spiking channel, a bigger channel here. And you can see how, and that's what I was talking about yesterday. You can see how well prices are fitting in this channel. Notice how many times prices have turned off that right there. Uh, same thing. Notice how many times they, they bounced off that line right there that's a good sign that you got a good channel and uh, same thing right here notice how we're touching it multiple times coming down and uh, you can see prices holding on both sides after we kind of got the break and moved back down and we're bouncing off the low side maybe it's a little bit more like that right there depending on how you drew it um, but that's what I saw and that's where I've got most of the entries. It's more of a downtrend. We traded down into this. Uh, there's a nice little trap here that I like that I felt was, you know, pretty good trade right after the open to go long there. This one, mm, I was iffy about making this one green, but it's a failed second entry long. Notice, so uh, let's just go ahead and start talk about the trades. But notice your new high uh, a little after 7 o'clock there, right around 7 o'clock broke higher you got a new high than the first entry of pullback a second entry it fails and it actually fails both ways but the trend is down and um, you know I wouldn't have been looking for a long there um, even though it looked a little bit like a trap it was a lot of overlap and that might have kept you out and that's why I was tempted to make this one green um, but that's a nice bearish reversal bar you go short right there thinking that prices are probably coming back down here we just came off the high side it's a the bias is down and then you're down here and the only reason I like this long was because it was early in the day and that's obviously a trading range and this would have been more down here like that right there and he broke lower you tried to go higher you tried to break lower again so you got a double bottom and then a reversal you probably wanted to wait on that bar right there and put your stop above it and boom uh, either that or use a limit order and so I like that one to the long side um, but then I didn't really feel comfortable going long anymore after that. The bias is kind of down, and, you know, you never really got another second entry like that. You know, notice you got a double bottom with a second entry on that one, and you never really got another second entry long off the low there. Um, 
I was tempted to draw this one right here. This is really, this really, I should have had that one red. I was going back and forth whether or not to put it green uh, or not, but I think it should be red. And not, and the reason I was going to make it, let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and make it green. I like it, but there's a lot of overlap there. But if you're going to enter in overlap, that's where you want to do it at the strong resistance. And it's kind of a failed uh, break high right there that turned back down. It's a second entry short counting off the highs. There's your first entry pullback, second entry. That's a nice bearish bar. So if you went short there, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then you got a chance right here. Um, this is more, this is really, even though you got a little break higher, this is really like one leg down, then a pullback. So that's like a failed second entry long. It looks close enough, and you're not down to the lows yet. And, you know, so a next, another chance to get short there. And then we come back up to the high side. Better to wait on the second entry that comes right there. And this is almost an exact duplicate of what you kind of had over here. And you got a nice bearish bar. It kind of broke higher first. And, you, you know, you're looking for prices to come back down. You might have had this right here by now, but you still got room to get out. Notice where it bounces. And this is like a breakout pull by short. Um, that's where I ended up having that line the rest of the day. And this is like a little breakout pull by short. I went back and forth about this one as being green. Uh, but the bias is down. Eventually you're going to break out one side or the other. And even though this is in yesterday's um, price action, you probably could have used this for a measured move. Um, and you can see we got to right in there. We went, we ended up going a lot lower than that because the market was just bearish today. But that was what I was looking for for a target early on. And you can see we, it ended up being resistance kind of the rest of the day. But then uh, I, I didn't like entering in any of it. We've had such a good move down, and you're not getting back to the EMA. You're not getting back to the uh, trend line. So I didn't like going, you know, I thought it was too risky to go short right in there. Uh, but then you get a nice move up, and then again, I thought this one was just a little risky. Even though you had your trend line here, it's a first entry, and it usually snaps back. But if you wanted to be real aggressive, you could have entered there. And this is one of those examples I was telling you, the first entry. You have to ride a pullback back, but notice if you keep your stop above it, you're safe. And then you get another chance to enter right here. Look at that bearish bar right there. And you kind of get a little break of the trend line here. Um, Depending on how you drew it, you might have it a little higher right there. Uh, if you did, it may not look like a break. Um, it didn't matter. It's close enough. And then you do you do get an obvious break here and then a move, couple of moves to a new low. And then you kind of go into a correction, a trading range. And that's, that's good enough to be a correction. It lasts over an hour. And then you head down again. And, uh, and But you did get your break of this little spike in channel right here. And you get your new low. And then you come out of there. But here's your, you know, you got a little correction going across here um, after your break here. Actually, this is your correction. Let's just see how long that lasted. Um, you started correcting around 11.30, and it lasted till 12.30, your hour. Um, that's your little hour correction, and then you start heading down again. And that's pretty typical um, of what you expect, a minimum of about an hour correction. And... Um, and that's what we got there. But um, even if you didn't find this bigger channel, you should have had this resistance. And there were some entries down through here, but again, I just didn't like them. It's too much overlap. You know, we've had the, you could have considered this a possible break. We've had a break, and I mean, it's really struggling to go lower. There's some, there's a trap or two in there. If you took it, you know, it's okay. But I just didn't mark any of it. Um, then you come up here and you get your double top here and you get a little failed break higher. It's a second entry short. I like that one. Uh, easy move down. Then it comes back and tests it again, and there's another chance to enter. And then there was really a second entry here, but it was so close to these possible lows because I had this was like back up here then. Um, you know, it was really risky right there. Uh, but, you know, if you took it, I probably should have made it green. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and mark it green just in case because... I'm guessing that some of you probably saw that, and I didn't like it because it was too close to the, it's too close to these lows right here, and we bounced there several times, but it's kind of like a little breakout pullback short, 
because this line probably would have been right across there and you can see it's like a little break and it's also like a little two-legged pull back to the EMA so there's enough reason to enter that and make it green uh, and I didn't like entering in here we're getting really close down here to this line to the bounce um, and so I just thought it was a little bit risky entering right in there so I didn't like there's a lot of overlap there too but then guess what you come right back up to this trend channel line this little spike and channel you get a second entry short right here notice your new low first entry pull back second entry uh, there is a little bit of overlap there but you got a little bit of a trap up there it's coming right off the trend line it's a second entry no matter what and you can see it struggled to go lower there and it comes back and it tests it again and uh, another chance to get in eat, eat both of those were easy scalps no runners and finally you break your trend line right here and this line probably should be down there by now and you can see that how it's holding prices fairly nicely between those two lines and uh, and this one actually dropped down to about right in there and you can see that's where we found resistance here over you know late in the evening um, and I didn't mark anything after that uh, that was the break, and it was real late. That you know, I'd get you into two o'clock, and you don't want to trade much after two o'clock. So two thirty for sure. But that's what I saw today, and this is going to be another short one. I will say I haven't had a chance to answer many emails, uh, and probably won't. Uh, I'm going to be a little behind. I'm way behind on my emails. So if you don't get some answers today, you're, you're probably I'm way behind. So um, I'll get them all answered in the next uh, day or so, and. Um, but I'm going to wrap it up, call it a day, it's late in the evening, I'd like to go ahead and get this uploaded so people can compare, you know, what they saw to what I saw. But that's what I saw today, I uh, hope you had a good trading day, hope you have a better one tomorrow, and I uh, hope you're having a good week, and we'll be back to do this again tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I'm going to be back on schedule here in the next day or so, and uh, we can kind of get back to more normal kind of stuff. But uh, I'm a little bit distracted with some other things i got going on right now. So, But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up, this is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.